In this video, we will focus on drawing structures of alcohols. Alcohols are colorless liquid with hydroxyl functional group. The first member of alcohol homologous series has one carbon. It is called methanol. The second member has two carbons and we call it ethanol. The third member has three carbons and it is called propanol. The fourth has four carbons. We call it butanol. Now, how do we draw the structures of alcohols? When we show all the bonds between the atoms in a molecule, we are writing down the full structural formula of the organic compound. This is carbon in the periodic table. It has six electrons and it will use its four outermost electrons for bonding to achieve stable noble gas octet electronic configuration. This is hydrogen in the periodic table. It has only one electron in its first shell. It needs one more electron to achieve stable noble gas duplet electronic configuration. This is oxygen in the periodic table. It has eight electrons and it will share two of its outermost electrons with other non-metal atoms to achieve stable noble gas octet electronic configuration. All members in the alcohol homologous series have hydroxyl group. They will use this functional group for chemical reactions. The first member, methanol, has one carbon. Carbon will share one of its valence electrons with oxygen, then the remaining three electrons with hydrogen. Now all the atoms have achieved stable noble gas electronic configuration. Carbon and oxygen now have eight outermost electrons, while hydrogen has two. When we write the full structural formula, we do not need to draw the electron shell or draw dot and cross to represent the electrons. When drawing the structure, we use a dash, which represents a bond between two sharing electrons in a covalent molecule. Hence, one bond means the sharing of two electrons. So now we replace each of the electron pair with a bond. Here you go, this is the structure of methanol. Next, we have ethanol, which has two carbons. One of the carbons will share its electrons with oxygen, and each carbon will share one electron with each other. The carbons will then fulfill the octet rule by using its remaining electrons to form bonds with hydrogen. This is the dot and cross diagram of ethanol. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go. We have achieved the structure of ethanol. What about propanol, which has three carbons? One of the carbons will share its electrons with oxygen, and carbons will share one electron with each other. The carbons will then fulfill the octet rule by using its remaining electrons to form bonds with hydrogen. This is the dot and cross diagram of propanol. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go, we have achieved the structure of propanol. What about butanol, which has four carbons? Similarly, one of the carbons will share its electron with oxygen, and carbons will share one electron with each other. The carbons will then fulfill the octet rule by using its remaining electrons to form bonds with hydrogen. This is the dot and cross diagram of butanol. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go, we have achieved the structure of butanol. If you look at each of these alcohols, you should notice carbon always form four bonds, oxygen always form two bonds, while hydrogen always form one bond. 
when you are familiar with structure and drawing of organic compounds, you should not need to depend on dot and cross diagram to achieve the full structural formula of organic compounds to save time. Practice more and you'll be more confident in writing full structural formula of organic compound. If you find this video useful, like the video and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.